Hi, hello, good day students. Today, I'm going to teach you how to change improper fraction to a mixed number and vice versa. At the end of this video, you should be able to perform the following. Identify if a fraction is an improper fraction or mixed number. Illustrate improper fractions and mixed numbers. And change improper fraction into a mixed number and vice versa. Let us start by identifying improper and mixed number. Improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. Here are examples of improper fractions. 40 over 9 or 40 ninths, 7 thirds, 9 halves, 12 eighths. As you can see, numerators are bigger than denominators. While mixed number, it is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. So mixed number is an indicated sum of a whole number part and a fractional part. Let me show you examples. We have 4 and 5 eighths, 1 and 2 thirds, 9 and 1 elevenths. So it is very obvious that this is a mixed number since it has a whole number and a fractional part. Okay? Now, let's have this word problem. Gabriel ate 7 fourths chocolate bars while Nathan ate 1 and 3 fourths chocolate bars. The question is, who ate more? To help us identify... Who ate more between Gabriel and Nathan? Let us illustrate the following fractions. Gabriel ate 7 fourths chocolate bars. And when you recall, 7 fourths is an example of an improper fraction. And we show 7 fourths like this. Okay, suppose this is the chocolate bars. Okay? So, this is how we illustrate 7 fourths chocolate bars. 7 parts were taken. Okay? Next, let's have Nathan's. Nathan ate 1 and 3 fourths chocolate bars. And 1 and 3 fourths is an example of a mixed number. And to show 1 and 3 fourths, we have this illustration. Now, take a look at the illustration and from there, you can identify who ate more. Okay, who do you think ate more? Alright, very good. Both of them ate the same amount of chocolate bars like is shown in the illustration. Okay, so from here, we could tell that an improper fraction can be changed to a mixed number without changing their value. Okay? So, let's have changing mixed number to an improper fraction. Remember, mixed number is a combination of a whole number part and a fractional part. While improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is bigger than the denominator. Let's change 2 and 4 fifths to an improper fraction. And this is how we illustrate or we show 2 and 4 fifths. We got 2 holes and 4 fifths as a fractional part. So from here, we could tell that these 2 holes are divided, each of them is divided into five equal parts okay so we got the first hole as like this and the second hole as like that and we have four fifth okay now to change it to an improper fraction all you need to do is to count all the num or i mean the number of parts the total number of parts which are being taken and we got how many parts? In three holes, we have 14 
parts. And since each hole is divided into 5 equal parts, that we get 14 fifths. And so, therefore, when you change 2 and 4 fifths to an improper fraction, you get an answer 14 fifths. So, we could tell that 2 and 4 fifths is equal to 14 fifths. Can you follow? Okay. To help us solve the problem easily, we can do computation to change 2 and 4 fifth into 14 fifth. Okay, how do we do it? To change mixed number to an improper fraction, we have to follow the following steps. First, multiply the whole number part or the whole number by the denominator. In our example, 2 and 4 fifth, the whole number is 2. Since we have to multiply it to the denominator, which is 5, so we have 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Next step, add the product to the, new, to the numerator. And the answer will be the new numerator. Since our product is 10, we will add it to our numerator, which is 4. So, 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. Now, 14 is our new numerator. And what about the denominator? To get the new denominator, all you need to do is to copy the denominator of the original fraction. So, we got an answer, 14 fifth. Therefore, 2 and 4 fifth is equal to 14 fifth. Okay? How do you find it? Is it hard? Now, let's have more examples. Let's try to change 5 and 7 tenths to an improper fraction. Again, take note of the following process. First, multiply the whole number by the denominator. The whole number in the given fraction is, of course, it's 5. And you have to multiply 5 to the denominator, which is 10. 5 times 10 is 50. Then, 50, the answer 50 or the product 50, you have to add it to the numerator, which is 7. And 50 plus 7 is equal to 57. That 57 will be our new numerator. And to get the denominator, just copy the denominator of the original number. So we got 10. And so the answer is 57 tenths. Okay? That is how we do it. Okay. Let's try one more. Let's have 3 and 4 sixths. So again, Multiply the whole number and the denominator. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 4 is 22. And we get 22 as our numerator. Then just copy the denominator of the original number. Okay? Next, let's have the last one. 1 times 11 is 11 plus 9 is 20. So we get 20 elevenths. Okay? Can you follow? Very good. Now, let's learn how to change improper fraction to a mixed number. So, this time, we have improper and we have to change it to a mixed number. And how do we do it? To understand better, let us start from illustration. Change 14 fifth to a mixed number. So, here in our illustration, 14 fifth is shown like this. Since we have to make it is as a mixed number, take note, mixed number has a whole part. So, we have one whole, two holes, and then copy the fraction, four, fifth. Okay. So, to change it in mixed number, 14 fifth is equal to two and four fifth. We could also do computation in changing improper fraction to a mixed number. So, for example, we have to change 14 fifth, which is an improper fraction, into a mixed number. 
Let us be guided with the following process. First, divide the numerator by the denominator. 14 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator, so 14 divided by 5. Of course, you have to solve it. So, 14 divided by 5 is equal to 2 remainder 5. Now, next step. Write the quotient as the whole number part. Remember, in a mixed number, we have a whole number part. So, the quotient in step 1 is 2. So, we will have 2 as our whole number. And the remainder, you have to make it as your new numerator. In step 1, we have remainder 4. So, 4 will be the numerator. And for the denominator, you just have to copy the denominator of the original number, which is 5. Okay, that's why 14 fifth is equal to 2 and 4 fifth. That is how we do it. Let's try more example. Let's have 89 tenths. So you have to divide 89 by 10 because 89 is the numerator. 89 divided by 10 is equal to 8 remainder 9. Now, make 8 as the whole number because 8 is the quotient. And the remainder 9 will be your numerator. And for the denominator, you just have to copy 10, which is the denominator of the original number. And so we get 8 and 9 tenths. Let's have more. 45 eighths. 45 divided by 8 is equal to 5 remainder 5. And so we got 5 as our whole number and 5 as the numerator, then copy the denominator 8. So 45 eighths is equal to 5 and 5 eighths. Last, let's have 13 halves. So divide. 13 divided by 2 is equal to 6 remainder 1. 6 will be our whole number. And 1 as our numerator, then copy 2 as the denominator. That's why 13 halves is equal to 6 and 1 half. Okay? So, remember how to change mixed number to an improper fraction and vice versa. You have to remember the following process. Okay, please take note of those um, process. That's all for this video. Thank you.